All right. So let's leave the uh, little tool shed behind here at McCaskill and uh, let's work our way to our destination here. So we're in the home run stretch here. You can see all these beautiful tamaracks all in their uh, autumn colors. Very beautiful uh, shade of yellow. You can see more of them up ahead. Uh, again, tamaracks like uh, wet locations. So here we kind of uh, slowly work our way out of the swamp and back into sort of an upland area. You can see again how the brush has all been sort of pushed aside. It was, uh, when I was here in 2020, it was much more grown in. Again, you can see more of the, uh, more of the tamaracks. It's been a long day. I've been going for like, like over four hours. It's been a very slow hike today. Okay. Again, very great time of year to uh, to hike, um, simply because the uh, the leaves and such are mostly down, and it makes it a lot harder, uh, sorry, a lot easier uh, to see things. Um, uh, the most ideal time is it's in the spring, uh, and the only drawback in spring is it generally tends to be typically, uh, as you would imagine, much wetter. And so that can pose some problems in and itself. The spring is nice because everything's flattened out. Uh, there's no leaves, but all of the vegetation that you can see here is usually all kind of tramped down and uh, makes it a lot easier to, uh, to, to locate things. So up here is supposed to be uh, milepost 115. Uh, again, like with pretty much all the other ones that we discussed, uh, on this section with the exception of 113, which is still there. I looked and I looked and I looked and I looked, um, quite, uh, quite unsuccessful at, uh, at locating the, uh, the milepost marker. Uh, I even kind of went and sort of walked around, um, w you know, hoping that maybe it was on the ground and that I would, you know, potentially see it or step on it or something. Here you can see a piece of a tie and uh, no luck, just uh, doing a scan right now and see if maybe I missed it, but I don't think so. I did manage to uh, locate one thing, um, which you're gonna see right up, uh, up there uh, that I had missed previously. Again, you can see how all the uh, the brush has been pushed back here. So our uh, the end of our hike is coming up just right there. Um, so there is a road crossing. Again, it's been a uh, it's been a long morning. It's uh, almost quarter to one. We were, uh, and and I, uh, I've been through here before, right? So I had marked a lot of stuff and 
you know I, it wasn't like a new section that I hadn't seen I was just uh, moving really slow today not sure why So before we get to the road crossing, we have our little point of interest here. Make sure I don't go by it because it can be very easily missed and that's why I missed it all the other times. Yeah, now I gotta try to find it. Where is it? There it is. See well, how easily it is to not find things. Uh, so basically what we have is we have a the flanger sign for the road crossing. Very, uh, very, you could tell how old it is. Uh, so not with a modern metal tube, a pole. Uh, you can see basically it's an old tube. And uh, you can see even the uh, the sign itself, just the deterioration of the of the of the sign. Um, it's welded on there, and uh, again, it's been suggested to me that these these pipes um, were actually old boiler tubes from locomotives, and basically they were hammered flat at each end, uh, and then basically that's how the sign was uh, was attached to them. So kind of really neat to see sort of the uh, the old school sign as the uh as the kids would say okay let's uh push the last uh, 100 feet here to the end of our exploration okay so this is the end this road here i don't think it has a name i just call it cameron falls road um because simply it's right by cameron falls um so we cross the grade here obviously there was a level crossing right here um We've, uh, we've been through this next section here. You, here you can see the sign for the old private crossing. I saw that last week because I was walking this section here last week. Uh, so we've done this section uh, before, but we are going to be redoing it uh, hopefully next week uh, if the weather cooperates. Um, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's exploration, uh, working our way from um, uh, just uh, south of Hogarth through McCaskill, uh, all the way up to this location here. Uh, a lot of neat things uh, to take a look at. Um, uh, to, uh, make sure you tune in again for, uh, for, for future episodes. Like I said, we're going to be uh, taking a look at this, uh, at this section here. So again, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll be back just as soon as we can with more explorations.